The Super Bowl brings people together, but this year health officials say that's not necessarily a good thing. Eyewitness News reporter David Kaplan spoke to health officials about their recommendations for you while you watch the big game. David? Are you ready for some football? Local health officials say get ready for football and safety practices. Kiyoshi Tomono with Adventist Health says they don't want the Super Bowl to turn into the super spreader. He says, remember, when you're with another household inside, you may not think you have COVID until it's too late. That other person's been exposed to somebody that's been sick, and they don't even have to be symptomatic, right? We know about this, that, that asymptomatic people can potentially spread the, the disease as well. So somebody that's not, you know, hacking and coughing can potentially get you sick and you not even know it. Michelle Corson, public information officer with the Kern County Department of Public Health, says you can still have a party, just have it outside or via Zoom. If you are going to be around anyone, we would ask that it be outdoors where you are socially distanced and practicing all of those safety measures. Um, but yes, to enjoy, you know, watching the game and, you know, virtually connecting with friends while you're watching the game. Timono says the majority of people recover from COVID, but still there are those who don't. The number of people that have had to come into the hospital and stay in the ICU and hopefully recover. Some of those folks didn't make it out of the ICU out of all of our facilities. Those are the people that we're trying to protect to, to prevent that kind of thing from happening. And, and that's the part that we all play in this. Timono says Bakersfield is a community that bands together where people donate in times of need. He says this is another opportunity for us as a community to think beyond ourselves and think about helping protect others. In studio, David Kaplan, Eyewitness News. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.